Good Saturday morning. This is the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing, a look at the next seven days of uh, possibly critical weather conditions. Uh, impact map, we have two for today into overnight, perhaps early Sunday. Uh, we do have uh, the possibility of mixed and dry storms uh, in far western Nevada, stretching into western Idaho. We do have high risk issued for some of these areas. Uh, later in the period, and as the storm moves, uh, f uh, storms move a bit further to the east, they will get a bit wetter uh, late Saturday, especially on Sunday. So it'll be mostly uh, in western areas late today that our uh, main lightning concerns are. And then going to Monday, and probably into a good portion of the early and middle part of next week, we we have uh, hotter, drier weather building into western areas, much lower humidity, Haines indices of 5 or 6 in these areas where we're shading here in orange where some of our current and recent incidents are. Uh, further off to the east, there'll still be some scattered showers and thunderstorms primarily on the wet side. And in some of these areas in western Nevada, we could see near record high temperatures. We'll keep an eye on that. Activity the past 24 hours, lightning activity quite a bit as we stretch across uh, southern Utah, Nevada, Idaho. A lot of this uh, southern and eastern stuff was uh, was wetter. Uh, we did have some starts uh, with some of the slightly drier stuff as you head further north and um, and west. You can see uh, precipitation on the left-hand side where some of our wetter and uh, somewhat drier storms were. A look at initial attack, uh, light initial attack, but we did have a believe over a dozen starts, uh, new fire starts in the, the red, uh, existing fires in the yellow, open circles and larger red circles indicate larger fires. Uh, precipitation over the past seven days, uh, you can see we've started getting a little bit wetter across our southern area, still bone dry across the northern two-thirds, just very light amounts of precipitation. Uh, similar story for the past 30 days, unseasonably dry, especially in the northern two-thirds of our um, basin area. Look at the fuels, our ERC charts. You can see we've moistened up quite a bit in our eastern and southern areas and just about everywhere. Um, starting to dry out though further up into northern Idaho, in our northern Idaho portions. Um, these ERCs here across north central Nevada uh, have taken a little bit of a hit, but they'll start drying out pretty quickly. Uh, that They've started already on the 10 hour fuels. You can see where we have these pockets of red here. This also coincides where we have a record grass crop. So uh, with possible lightning moving up in the next 24 hours, uh, we'll have to watch uh, some of this area of northwestern Nevada and even to parts of uh, western Idaho where the lighter fuels are still uh, quite dry. Here's our infrared satellite imagery with upper level map superimposed. You can see that um, we're kind of little kinks in this high pressure ridge through here, little disturbances, and we'll be watching some moisture, kind of subtle here, but there's some clouds coming up across southern central Nevada, which will push into parts of southern Idaho later today. That'll be our main moisture source. Tropical system well off the Baja coast, probably not playing a factor in our weather. So here's a look at our upper level map on the left hand side. You can see we're under broad high pressure, but here's some moisture, the specks of green in this area of black where there's just enough moisture for thunderstorms, not quite enough of them become super wet. You can see our high risk highlighted in our northwestern areas here for parts of Idaho and northwestern Nevada. If we go to the uh, weather portion, you can see where the model thinks we'll have precipitation this afternoon and evening, wherever you see these little popcorn kernel amounts of precipitation. So in some of these fringe areas in our northern and western areas is where we don't expect to see too much in the way of wetting rain. Winds overall fairly light except in the vicinity of thunderstorms. Now for Sunday, uh, there will be some more thunderstorm activity as it starts shifting further to the east and north. It'll start getting a little bit wetter so we don't have high risk posted uh, on our maps for Sunday. Um, we do notice the humidity across western Nevada starts dropping off single digits to low teens through here, mid-teens in Idaho, still quite moist across our eastern areas. Winds picking up a little bit across Utah, but of course there's higher humidity and uh, fairly light winds across western Nevada. If we go take a bit further down the road look uh, into uh, Monday, uh, high pressure builds in, it's centered, a big high centered right across northwestern Nevada, hot and dry conditions, uh, near record heat, uh, Haines indices of 5 or 6 in some of these areas, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Um, you can see these humidities again, bone dry, uh, single digits to low teens, winds fairly light, probably not a factor, just getting hot and dry, so I'll have to watch and see how many lightning strikes we get with uh, this upcoming system. Next three days of precipitation, not too much in some of our western areas. This is a more broad scale model. Our finer scale models show a little bit more, but this indicates the potential for dry lightning here in our western areas. Now we go further down the week into 
Tuesday, high pressure builds and it's centered right along the uh, Nevada, Northern California border. So our hot, dry conditions continue. Still moist though, this tongue of green here in southern areas in case we could see showers and wet thunderstorms across our southern areas. Uh, on Wednesday, as high pressure builds and starts shifting a bit further eastwards, uh, here's our high risk for hot, dry, unstable conditions uh, uh, across northwestern Nevada getting a little bit bigger. You see the moisture here across our southern area, so at the same time, you don't have to go too far south before you start seeing showers and wet thunderstorms. And then a quick peek down the look as we go into Thursday, our fuels have become hot and dry, but we do see more monsoonal moisture streaming northwards. And then on Friday, a good portion of Nevada and uh, southern Utah could be in under showers and thunderstorms, a mix of wet and dry. We'll evaluate that as we get closer to the event. Precipitation over the next seven days through here. Um, not too heavy on this map, but maybe locally heavy uh, in, a bit in, in southern areas. 8 to 14 day outlook takes us into the uh, second week of August and you can see uh, hot, dry conditions above normal across western areas. There's still a monsoonal signal here across our southern portions. This concludes our briefing. Have a great day.